This box here contains over $600 of brand new Ninjago sets. All right, here we go. These are the brand new Ninjago crystallized sets from one of the biggest and most expensive waves of all time. This is the best day of my life. I genuinely didn't realize quite how many sets there actually are in this new wave. There's over eight huge sets with over 4,800 pieces total. This is massive. This is gonna take me a while. I don't really know if this is possible, but we're gonna find out. Please subscribe. I began with Nia's Samurai Mac, the biggest set of the wave coming with eight minifigures and including some random child. That is quite a lot of Lego. And it's definitely bigger than the 2012 version. And after pouring out all of the pieces and getting ready, all right, so everything's in place. Let's begin. But one small problem, I've not actually even seen the new season that these sets will be based on, so I'd have to watch them while I build. Legally, uh, of course. The build was underway, and honestly, this set was a pretty fun experience. Because, fellas, he's back. I actually didn't think I'd be this happy building these sets. Now, this mech was absolutely huge and took every Everything from me to be able to finish in one sitting, which was helped by some decent minifigures. All right, so it's now onto the final bag. I think honestly, this is gonna take quite a while. But before long, I had the first of the eight sets completed. This set is absolutely ridiculous, and you get so many minifigures with it. Like it's it's insane. I've never seen anything like it in Ninjago. The mech not only looks good, but it also has a functionality where you can actually put Nia inside of it by just lifting the hatch up. So far, so good. To be honest, I don't know what I should build next. There is so many sets, and they're all massive like this is gonna take forever so i decided to move on to the second largest set from the wave lloyd's golden ultra dragon at about 130 quid i really hope that it is good please but before i could even get started with the build she's back for the third time thank you lego and as the build began the season made some somewhat questionable decisions there is zero chance that she survived that none i'm not having it uh, are you actually joking it, like no nah, you, you actually and i have to say this thing was genuinely absolutely massive and a great Cool back to the 2012 set. And the more I built, the more it started to come together. The last piece. There we go. The set was finished. I'd honestly be lying if I said that this set wasn't pretty good. You got the four heads on the dragon, you got tons of ridiculous minifigures, and ironically, the best minifigure selection of like any set. Not only that, you've also got like this weird throne build for the Crystal King with all of the golden weapons with brand new molds, but not quite as good as this bad boy. Very nice. The wings literally move. Very good, Lego. I, I appreciate that. That's, that's class. Needless to say, I really liked it. But now it's time for the final huge set, the Crystal King's Temple. I was now making my way through not only the sets, but also the show at a rapid pace. They're literally like all here. This is ridiculous. And although I wasn't sure about this set, it turned out to be incredible with so many different parts, four exclusive ninja, and honestly, guys, they're so good. Not only do you get four exclusive ninja, you also get the crystal king, one of the crystal people. It's, it's ridiculous. By this point, this set was absolutely incredible, and honestly, everything was looking really good. But I still had tons of sets left to go, so would this continue? Please, for my wallet's sake. So in the new season, basically, every single ninja has their own vehicle. So, um, let's begin. This would mean starting off with Kai's Golden Dragon Raider, the biggest of the four sets, although the first bag had maybe, like, 20 uh -huh. pieces in it. But over the 10 years or so of Ninjago, we've never gotten a vehicle quite like this, and honestly, it was really refreshing, not to mention the minifigures. Three exclusive minifigures in one set. That's wow. unheard of. It also had tons of Technic features, which I kept on building until finally finishing the set. But it not only had tons of amazing play features, but also just looked really good. Honestly, this set is probably my favorite so far, but I still have three more of the Ninja's vehicles left. Alright, let's see how quickly I can actually build this set, shall we? And after absolutely demolishing my fingers and trying my absolute best, and now we have it, 12 minutes and 36 seconds. Seconds. I genuinely actually don't think that's too bad. This set is so good. Very impressed. Which left me with two more vehicles, starting off with Cole's Dragon Cruiser. I just prayed that it's good. Now, the cool thing about every set from this wave is that they all have exclusive minifigures. Like these ninja vehicles coming with the ninja in their dragon form. After they jump up, kick back, whip around, and spin. No, I'm not joking. That That's genuinely in the show. Great job, Lego. But this Cole vehicle felt like a great representation of the character with some cool earthy details, treads. Honestly, Honestly, it was a perfect throwback to this masterpiece. All in all, very good set. Which now meant I had to build Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. This set feels like such a throwback to 2013. It's mental. But with my desk completely covered in dozens of sets, I got to building one of the last sets, which I was quite happy about. And as I got to building, this set genuinely surprised me because for the price tag of $25, there was two exclusive minifigures and an absolutely sick play feature. It's such an absurdly great build for the price, and honestly, this might be one of my favorites. Like a 
you did good. All right, so we're now on to the final set, which just looks ridiculous. I, I don't really think it's that good. Just looks a bit mid, really. But who knows, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this abomination is actually good. So I got to build it. Now this set is literally meant to be the Crystal King himself after he hit the gym and got huge to end the ninja. But he's actually uh, quite funny looking. I don't know, I've said it a lot, but these minifigures are insane. And to be fair, the more I built, the more the set grew on me and turned into one of the most incredible, well-designed sets with so much detail and a massive ass. Yeah, this set is definitely my favorite. <laughs> like, this is fantastic. Very nice. And after moving every single one of the sets and putting all of the minifigures onto a base plate, which, by the way, that took me absolutely ages. There are so many minifigures. All right, so this is, like, all of the sets together. Genuinely, just looking at all of this, I think it's fair to say that there's quite a range of sets. You know, you got the dragons, the vehicles, the whatever this temple thing is. Not to mention just so, so many minifigures. You get 12 Crystal King Warriors. That's unreal. Like, that's stupid. Not to mention that each of the ninja have, like, three different variants. You've got the basic version, the golden version, and obviously the dragon form. Apart from Lloyd, who becomes a demon. But we also get tons of side characters, like Rue. And my favourite, Garmadon. I'm sorry, right, but who in their right mind greenlit this? Also, I want to point out that every single set here comes with a bag of the golden weapons. Genuinely, I think that this might be the best wave of Ninjago sets. Please subscribe. <laughs>